Hey everybody, it's Friday evening. I'm going to do another barley wine. I did one last night that I wasn't all that impressed with. Um, I'm going to do one from uh, Samuel Adams. Um, this is one of their limited release edition. I'm going to do their uh, Griffin's Bow. Pretty cool label. Um, they call it an oaked blonde barley wine ale. Uh, comes in at 10% uh, ABV. 22 ounce bomber. This is recommended to me by the the guy at the beer store when I was out of town last weekend and a uh, uh, place I go where they where they have decent beers that I can't get locally. Um, from the bottle it, it says from the aroma and notes of sweet honeysuckle, pineapple and grapefruit to richer hints of burnt sugar and toffee this intriguing brew is full of complex flavors. The distinct character of toasted oak adds depth and contrast the light fruit sweetness. This unique take on a barley wine ale surprises with its smoothness and balance of fruit, hop citrus, and warmth. Never got a lot of hop citrus, never got a lot of stuff like that in a barley wine. Not what I think of as a barley wine. Um, there's a bunch more stuff on the uh, website that I copied. I'll paste it down below. So, um, just plain black Sam Adams cap. I think I got one of those, but if not, I'll add it to my collection. Hey, it's got wine in the name, so I'm going to use a wine glass. Nice glug, 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 glug. A blonde barley wine. And apparently they, they age this on oak. So, hmm. Just see, that's a lot lighter than... Uh, a lot lighter than any barley wine I've ever seen. I can see quite see through it quite a quite a bit. We got a dark, almost almost orange, bright golden color. A bunch of carbonation streaming up. Uh, beautiful, just now that is a snow white head on there. I don't know if you can see that in this light, but that is a creamy snow white head. Almost two fingers. Lots of small tight bubbles. Just a little big bubbles right on the very top, but most of it's just solid, uh, small white bubbles. Good looking beer, doesn't look like a barley wine, but uh, they call it a oaked blonde barley wine ale. So let's get a nose on this and see what we have. I'm, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not used to, and the flavors, they talk about citrus and tropical fruits and stuff like that. Is this an IPA or a barley wine? But let's give it a nose and see what we're getting here. I'm not really getting any bright citrus. I'm getting some. I'm getting some of those tropical fruits like mango, maybe a little pineapple and some. Maybe a. Maybe even a little ginger, um, a little apricot. I am getting a little oak in it. Um, that's what they said. Almost like a honey malt. Hibiscus. I'm not really good. It doesn't smell like a barley wine, that's for sure. It doesn't smell like an IPA, but it doesn't smell like a barley wine. I'm not getting nearly the maltiness that uh, that I get with most barley wines, but let's give her a taste. I'm getting a little more maltiness there right in the front, but it's a very light maltiness. It's definitely not the the thick maltiness I expect from most barley wines. Um, getting a little almost like toasted oak, getting coconut, pineapple. I am getting some citrus there, but I don't know why they call it bright citrus. Um, that's what they said anyway. It is pretty fruity uh, for, for a barley wine, that's for sure. It's a good tasting beer. Uh, just doesn't taste like any barley wine I've uh, tasted, before, tasted before. Got a nice, um, almost bittersweet aftertaste. Um, it's a good tasting beer. Uh, Mouthfeel. It's fairly... It's fairly rich, kind of thick. Some uh, carbonations died down considerably. 
Um, got a medium low carbonation now. Um, I'd say it's probably a medium, medium mouthfeel, but uh, the carbonation makes it feel a little, little thicker. Good taste in beer so far. So let me uh, sit and let this warm up a bit, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. It's warmed up quite a bit. Uh, had to take the dog out again. She's about to have her 14th birthday, so you get a little old, needs to go out more than she used to. Um, I don't know. Um, getting a little more malts on the nose, but it's not those heavy dark malts like I'm used to. They, um, It's a barley wine, which I tend to like, and it's got some oak in it, which I also tend to like. Um, I think it's a great combination. It's, um, but a blonde barley wine, I'm not sure what they were aiming for here. It's, uh, it's pretty hoppy, pretty citrusy. I've never had a barley wine like that. When I look for a barley wine, I want some deep, dark roasted malts. And I'm not getting them in this. It's a decent drinkable beer. I mean, it's a good tasty beer. Um, they're definitely thinking outside the box on this one. Um, so it's a good, decent, drinkable beer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one of my uh, two-part ratings and do the average this time. But uh, as a decent, drinkable beer, I'm gonna, i am gonna—I got to give it an 8. I mean, I recommend giving it a try. It's a tasty beer. Um, as a barley wine, if you're expecting a barley wine, Boy, I don't know. I'm I'm wavering between four and five. I'll give it the benefit of a doubt and give it a five. Um, so uh, average those two, the eight and the five. The Samuel Adams, Griffin's Bow. Again, a super cool label. Um, oak. Blonde barley wine ale, and I'm still not sure what a blonde barley wine is, but it's a it's a decent uh, it's a decent uh, attempt at uh, thinking outside the box. But I'm going to give it a six point five. It's it's good. It's drinkable. Um, I'd recommend giving it give it a shot if you see it. Um, they say it uh, first brewed in 2011, so I'm sure this is the 2011 version. It's a limited release. It's not one of their their Imperial series or anything like that. So um, if you see it, give it a try. It's you might like it better than I do. I mean, I like it. It's a good drinkable beer. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not my idea of a barley wine. So till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beers.